going up against somebody like Jen, which is like, you know, people call him the Prince of New York, because um, when Jen gets going, he gets going. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to see. We're really going to see what Carful has made up in this matchup. Jen is just like a player who, like, he's so good at keeping you honest. And, and like, I'm sure people have said it so many times, but, like, no one, like, tricks Jen twice. And uh, he's just, like, surprisingly good at staying comfortable and then possibly, like, really turning it on. But I've never seen him get particularly flustered. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he very rarely gets flustered. Um, and, yeah, and that's one of the good things about him. But, like, Carflow right now turning up. Yep. Um, this is a matchup that Palutena players routinely don't really like, mostly because... Roy can hit a bunch of buttons on her shield, and like we were talking about earlier, she doesn't have the best added shield punishes, but right, this right. is where she can sell the match. Yep, up. yep. And we actually saw like the littlest preview of this, like round one. I think Jen played a you know, prom oh, yeah, player, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it was just so fantastic edge guards. The use of the back air, the timing on all of them is just so practiced. So I definitely think it's going to be the Roy show on stage, and then Jen can take over once mm -hmm. the off stage play comes in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, he could have confirmed this one up there, but probably wasn't right to get that hit. Right, right. Oh, Jen's so good at that. Not going to go for the back air. Looking for a nice little extension, but Jen's also really good at just getting a grab yeah. and then getting another grab for it. You know what I mean? Like Sometimes he won't go for like a big punish. He'll just wait for them to land and re-grab them. It's yeah, he doesn't smart. He doesn't get greedy a lot, right, and that's right. that's one of his very his very good factors. And um, yeah, with punishing that get-up attack with a forward tilt, and. It's good spacing from Carflow, who jumping right over the get up attack, so had time to land. Yeah. Okay, yeah, empty line grab, and Jen coming through with the counter. First counter yeah. of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a couple of reflects earlier, but that that's a good old fashioned counter. Punishing the Roy classic of hitting the shield. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Good punish coming off a ledge. It's so fast, too, like nice aggressive dancing blade. Good mix up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a good mix up, especially with Palutena, because they like to do things like set up at ledge with Nair, and that could whiff right, punish yeah. Nair pretty hard. So good moving from Jen, gonna open the stage up, and Carflow now stuck at the ledge, but good jump. Well, that's not where you want to be, though. Whoa, what a reversal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and th this is this is scary for Jen. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah. So guys, by the <laughs> way, this no, this is the thing that happens to a lot of people. Dancing Blade number three is like minus 17 on shield, something really bad like that. So you could. Punished very easily. People yep. get scared to get hit by the fourth hit. Yeah, so. it's uh, also true in Smash where there's like one particular hit of Dancing Blade. You can just grab it. Yeah, no, it's like really bad. Yeah. <laughs> they have to like try and mix you up and go for two and then stop, but you mm -hmm. could also grab that if you're fast enough. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but the third one is the really insanely minus one. Right, right. Oh, trying to go for a counter or a back air. Neither is going to work though. Yeah, yeah, going deep. And you have to do that, right? Especially when you're down. So it's yeah. We'll see though. Oh, doesn't get the uh, turn around. Now Jen with the neutral air gonna open up the stage one more time. Carflow on the back foot. Yeah, they're yeah. back there. Yeah, and like, you know, Jen at the ledge, he can condition you very well. Like, oh, that's gotta be it. Eventually it'll be it. Okay, don't, he's gonna make a liar out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing, thing about down at the ledge, it's, it's, that's pretty, it ends pretty fast, mm -hmm. right? So people, you see a lot of people trying to punish Palutena's down tilt and get punished because they thought they could swim. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, it looks like it lasts for a while. She does spin the staff, but it's pretty quick. Just like that up air, mm -hmm. taking that first game. Also pretty quick. Yeah. Jen going up 1-0. Yeah. And, you know, there, there are a lot of good stuff com coming out from, like, car, car flow's end. Yeah. Um, very good, uh, like, air-to-air -air punishes, but it's just, like, landing for him was very difficult. For sure. Um, so, like, sometimes you have to reset the ledge in those situations uh, against characters that combo you pretty hard. So uh, maybe we'll see some adjustments going to the next game. Yeah, it's kind of it's tough to get over, like, the mental block. of Like, you don't want to be on the ledge in this matchup if you're Roy, but sometimes it's better than trying to fight through, like, the wall of stuff no. Palutena is putting up. Uh, you know, the, the great players definitely know when it's a, a good time to call it quits and just go back to the ledge. But. Yeah, something you need to reset. And right now, we're going to a small battlefield, which is a pretty uh, good uh, Roy stage. You get a lot of combo sentence off of these uh, two platforms. Yeah, you weren't kidding. 71% already. Okay, that is not where you want to be, though. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's the, the Pokemon Stadium Classic, because you have those platforms to work with, but that was just like right in between both of the small battlefield ones. So. Big punish from Jen. Oh, that's got to be uh, another one? No. Okay. Good defense from Carflow there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very good patience. Oh. And yeah, and that was a quick ledge jump back here. I did not expect that. And, uh, Jen didn't either, apparently. Going yeah. down. Yeah, we both got hit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, good response though, back here. That's gotta be a back. Okay, down yeah. smash. Yeah, of. and that's a great recovery high. Sometimes yeah. you have to you have to take the hit so you don't lose your stock, because if you recover low, he was 100% losing stock. Right, exactly. <laughs> Some people are just so afraid of getting hit, and then they, you know, it's even worse for them trying to avoid it. Yeah, especially characters with bad recoveries, you learn to just take hits. Right. <laughs> Okay. So, well, yeah, I was going to say, Jen stuck at the ledge again, looking for a roll in, but Power Flow is ready for it. Man, great punish. Not overextending right now. Yo, another Trump. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, and, and not overextending. Letting Jen hang out at the ledge. He's just waiting for him at that distance, like right under the platform. But Jen retaliating with the back air, catching Power Flow swing, and that back air does not care about yeah, that Actually, that whole opening was dash attack and back air. <laughs> just because Power Flow tried to swing both times and got hit by the shield. Good stuff. Yeah, man, right now, Carful is playing very well off these platforms, catching Jen slipping a lot mm -hmm. and uh, punishing his approach options with forward airs off the ledge. But right now, tech chase is huge. Going to even it up potentially, but Carful is again great landing yeah. this time. It's definitely the difference between game one and two. Yeah, but right now, good early recovery. But right now, Jen's catching to on to some of his swinging patterns and right, right. getting punished really hard with these backers and pushing Carful further and further off stage. Thankfully, though, Carflow has mixed up how he's playing off stage, so it's kind of evening out. Still pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good routes Carflow's taken. That was insane. Next Gen chase here. Ooh. Oh man, oh, that job. Not like that. That was fast and right. Wow, that was a crazy drift by Carflow. <laughs> <laughs> that last minute drift. <laughs> insane. And sneaks a hit in neutral air. Not gonna take it. He's already like doing the in between the stocks up airs. The confidence. Wow, okay. yeah, yeah, last minute back there. Good reaction by Carful. Let's see if he's gonna take a stock and went for it again. <laughs> yeah, and the patience, man. And like you would see you and you would see other players. Oh, you missed the cancel, bro. Yeah, 157, that's whatever. How would you do that? Yeah. Oh no, you jumped from the ledge. Oh no. Oh, he, he doesn't have a jump. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Great, yeah, great drifting in mesh. Yeah, the the hitbox <laughs> or the hurtbox shift too from the back here, help. Okay. Trying to find an opening, but Jen's just playing really good defense right now. Wow, he actually could have converted that into a jab. Yep. Um, but okay, no jump here. Oh, so close. Yeah, good drift. And he, he's mixing up his drift right now because, like, you know, I feel like Jen expected him to go to the ledge. Definitely, definitely. He tried to cover with the bag here, but oh, okay, the counter. Yeah, yeah, good patience by Carful. Do not jump off of the ledge right now. That's no. what. Not where you want to be. Both of them playing real well right now. Spacing around with these tilts. Ooh, okay. Oh, you might have died. Okay. Yeah, almost. Really trying to. Yeah, right now, right now, like, Roy could play 50-50 with your life right now. Yep. Um, down tilt tech chases death. Like, yeah. okay. Even down tilt or like a weak jab. Weak yeah. jabs puts you in the tumble. It's pretty funny. Okay, nice little hop on into the roll on. Car flow playing real nice from the ledge here. That spaced board air? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> it's one, two, three, and then Jen was like, all right. Same uh, thing as last game, too. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I can understand the life of Roy Main. Sometimes you just got to let it ride, see where see where it takes you. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Sometimes you have to let it rip. And um, and that's the thing. You could actually also use that as a as an audio cue. Mm -hmm. Right, because Roy's screaming while he's doing the dancing blade. So if if you're not if you're not really um, if you're not really aware of like what to expect or when to grab or when to try to punish it, right, right. listen to the audio cues. Listen to the audio cues, and then you're like, okay, okay, yeah, he's done. And we can actually see it there too in the instant replay how that third hit really stuck out. And you could, oh please, yeah, yeah if you could cut to the real quick. So this is also a great defense here is like the run up shield and then tries to go for a back air, but. Like, it, this was all, like, Carflow's still in the driver's seat until this moment where he tries to go for it. And then, like, he, he gives him, like, am I going to do the fourth hit or not kind mm -hmm. of thing. But it doesn't matter because, like you said, you can just grab it. So even though Carflow decided not to <laughs> put the fourth hit out, it doesn't matter. It's, it's equally bad in that situation. If they ever have their shield up, it's, it's going to be GG. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was yeah. a pretty good game, though. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, pretty good claim. That was a very strong showing from Carflow, man. Yeah. Like, Carflow's a player... Definitely on the rise. The stock, the stock is rising right now. So I'd say so. Yeah. And just yeah. the adjustments we saw from those the two games, even pretty crazy. So. Yeah, and like, and I, I can even understand the concept of why he tried to punish that because right. um he tried to he tried to like short hop whatever um think he threw out an explosive flame. Yeah, right? yeah, threw an yeah. explosive flame. Yeah, 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 and tried to like try to whiff punish that by jumping over explosive flame inside, which is pretty slick, right? But um yeah, you know, overextend a little bit, but sometimes you go for those, especially when you're down. And, well, exactly. You know, 
Because it's yeah, it's what eighty three to one sixty four. If you hit that, oh yeah, no, the stock's gone. Is gone. Yeah, the stock's gone. You feel great. <laughs> you're going to game three. You're just, you got all the momentum. <laughs> emotional, emotional advantage. Yeah, didn't happen exactly like that this time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I yeah. can see why why you'd go for it. Yeah, hundred percent.